There are two main modes of failure in tissue heart valves, biomechanical, which is a failure related to the repetitive mechanical movement of the valve opening and closing, and biochemical, where the valve becomes calcified. Mechanical failure typically presents with leaflet tear, and biochemical with calcific stenosis. In this video, we will discuss the phenomena of calcification and the steps that can be taken to mitigate it. To understand calcification, let's first look at the structural and chemical aspects of the tissue. Living tissue contains cells, collagen fiber, phospholipids, and many other structures and components. Calcium moves in and out of tissue and through the cells. While alive, cells act as a pump, expelling calcium continuously. With prosthetic valves, the tissue must be altered so that the body does not reject it as a foreign material. This preservation process is known as fixation. In the fixation process, the tissue is treated with a glutaraldehyde solution. The collagen is now cross-linked with the glutaraldehyde chains. Some of these links remain unbound and are free aldehydes. In the fixation process, the tissue cells, along with their calcium pumps, die. The dead cells remain in the tissue as debris. Phospholipids also remain. The dead cells, phospholipids, and free aldehydes can become magnets for calcium. So how do we inhibit this calcium magnet after the fixation process? Well, this is where anti-calcification treatment comes into play. We use AOA or alpha amino oleic acid on our Evolute transcatheter valve systems and on our surgical valves Avalis, Mosaic, and Freestyle. The AOA process acts as a surfactant or soap, washing and removing the phospholipids, one of the calcium magnets. In the bonding stage, AOA forms a robust covalent or permanent bond with the free aldehydes. In the block stage, AOA reduces the movement of calcium through tissue based on its size and charge. Studies show the AOA actually slows the movement of calcium through the tissue. Lastly, the link or storage stage. AOA-treated valves are stored in a solution of glutaraldehyde. Storing the AOA-treated tissue in a glutaraldehyde solution allows those few remaining free aldehydes to continue to bond so that both sides of the link or chain are tied to something. This continued bonding helps to further minimize the attraction to calcium. 